So this is a response to Temple of Nature. Uh, my computer is uh, getting better after a hard drive wipe. Thanks for asking. So let's get straight into the levels. All of these levels pre uh, presuppose a very fundamentalist Christian-esque upbringing. That is, you start off with a religion that is very much by the books and presumes that you'll start with a child's understanding, which is the man in the funny hat tells mum and dad, who are the most powerful beings in my universe, uh, what to do uh, every week. And if I do the good things, I go to the good place when I die. And if I do the and if I stop doing the good things and do the bad things, I will go to the uh, bad place when I die. Very simple, very easy to remember. And that's not every religious tradition. I've always said the definition is like an incandescent paintball round in a paint mold marker. And as you walk around an infinitely complex shape in the middle of the night, you have to use your experience, which is which should, like a paintball, be well-rounded and can hurt when you shoot it um, at somebody and it hits them wrong. You have to shoot that shape with paintballs to see what it is. The problem is when you walk around it, which is getting perspective, uh, you might have to use another one because suddenly the whole thing might go dark and it won't, you won't be able to understand why you can't see it from a different angle. I kind of find life to be the same way and these levels really to me, I mean, I, I heard most of them. I think I'd have to see him written down to fully get what he was talking about. Uh, because to me, some bits of them I've apparently skipped and some bits I might have actually gone backwards on. And no, I, I don't find that human understanding of anything is easily, is a definite progression unless you control the context of somebody else's viewing of something. And that's really the problem. If you understand that there might be a deeper truth behind what seemed like a simpler idea, like there was a man in the sky who tells us all what to do, well, maybe there was a literal person or persons who uh, were attributed to the sky, and maybe the sky is the bit that needs to be reinterpreted. Or maybe tells us what to do needs to be reinterpreted. There is nothing in a religious tradition that cannot be be reinterpreted. And that's kind of, I think, what might be bothering you slightly, and it certainly bothers me, because I've, I came from a Catholic background, and I, uh, I did this video for Varmint Coyote called, uh, Is There Religion, you know, uh, was his video. It might definitely give you some perspective on this whole thing. And really, it just, I just find that it's a case of how you handle your perspective, the paintballs. It's how you handle them and how you use them. Because you've only got so much time to be alive and you can only define things to a certain extent before anything that you could pass that you wouldn't see from your ability to shoot paint at something would eventually be something that you probably wouldn't uh, run into anyway. So you don't have to worry about illuminating that bit. Yet someone else who encounters these shapes in a different way, from a different angle, uh, in different lighting conditions, with different colored paint, might need to know where it is because they might run into it. So as far as the levels go, I don't think human understanding of spiritual, karmic, uh, you know, greater truths, whatever you want to call them, is anywhere near as simple as it's this, 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 it has this many levels you can count it. No. Anytime you say you can count the truth, uh, you're missing the point. That's my experience anyway. Anyway, I'm mostly Griffin, and I certainly hope this is uh, giving you some perspective, helps, you know, shoot a couple of paintballs out into your um, world. And uh, more importantly, I look forward to seeing uh, what you said in Chrissy's comment section that you were going to do on Sexual Futurist, because uh, you don't look, because you look pretty sharp. And that's always a good place to start for them. I'm Wesley Griffin. Have a good one.